are going to talk about paralleling of generators. Normally, the generators are parallel in auto, yeah. But there might be a time when we need to take the generator on load manually and do the synchronization manually. Now, for the generators to be parallel, three conditions need to be satisfied. First condition is that the voltage of the bus bar, that is the generator which is already running, and the incoming generator should be same. The frequency of the bus bar and the incoming generator should be same and the phase sequence should be same. So we need to satisfy all these three conditions before we can take a generator on load. So let's start one generator. We have already number three generator which is running and I am going to start number two generator and take it on load. So we have this synchronizing panel through which we are going to do. So let's start the generator. First, I'm going to put it on manual and start the generator. As you can see, the generator is started. It is showing some voltage. Now, we need to take it on load. For this, I am putting number three generator which is running also on manual. Now, to take this generator in parallel with this generator, we need to synchronize it. For synchronizing, we use something called a synchroscope. A synchroscope. For this, I am putting number 2 generator on this. Now see, what is happening is, we have this frequency meter, where here it is showing the bus bar, here it is showing the incoming generator. Now you can see, the frequency is a little, little less. So, what I do is, I increase the frequency of number 2 generator by this governor motor. We have the control for this governor motor. I am going to raise. The frequency will, frequency will increase. And the idea is that it should be same or a little higher. Okay. Now you can see this synchroscope. This is started rotating in clockwise direction. That means the frequency of my incoming generator is slightly higher than my bus bar, which is perfect. Second condition is voltage. The voltage should be same. The voltage is same. Now, for generators to be synchronized, I need to close this ACB exactly at 12 o'clock. But of course, that is manually not possible. So what we aim for is, we normally aim that this light or this synchroscope should go rotate in clockwise direction at a slower speed and we should look to close the breaker when we are say around 11 o'clock. So in the next round I will close the breaker. See here we have it is 11 o'clock almost and I have closed. Now both the generators are in synchronized and we need to take some load on this generator for this. We are using this governor motor. I will reduce the load for number 3 and increase the load for number 2. You can see. Now the generators are more or less synchronized. Uh, uh, sorry, on the same load. Now one important thing which I want to mention here is please do not forget to switch off this synchroscope. See from here. Please do not switch, forget to switch off because this synchroscope is normally short time rated. That means it is normally made to run for maximum 15 to 20 minutes. If you leave it open, if you leave it on, then the coil inside this will burn and then you will not be able to use it. So please do not forget, after taking your generator on load manually, please shut it off. And now we are done. We can now put the generator if you like or not. If you like the content, Please like, comment, share and subscribe to the channel and we will get you more.